Hi team, Jamie Sullins, your star director, coming to you today to talk to you a little bit about Cincy Family Reunion this July. I know you all got an email yesterday and it had some information, but I know tons of you have lots of questions about what this is, what to expect, what to expect cost-wise, and so I wanted to shoot a quick video and just kind of answer a lot of those questions that I've already been receiving from some of you. So first and foremost, registration is going to open on Monday, which is April 4th. Now registration from that time until April 15th, it's early bird registration and the cost will be $250. After the 15th, so starting April 16th until the event is full, registration is $300. Now in the past, there has always been a payment plan and I believe it was like a $50 deposit and then they took out payments monthly after that. That payment plan has not been announced this year, but I would assume that they will be doing that like they normally do. Now what does that $250 get you? That's a question I get a lot. First and foremost, it gets you all of the training and the entertainment for Cincy Family Reunion. Now, while we're talking entertainment, it's gonna be a little bit different this year. We are not going to have just one headliner entertainment. What they have done is they have arranged with the Grand Ole Opry for us to be bussed over there and attend one of the Opry nights. So if you're familiar with the Opry at all, it's not just one person in concert there every night. There's typically four different performers. Um, I believe it was like an, an old timer, a chart topper, um, an up and comer, and like a variety act is typically how it's set up. Now, there's gonna be too many of us to go to the Grand Ole Opry in one night. So when you register, you will be asked to choose your concert night and you'll have to choose either Tuesday or Wednesday for your concert night. And I'm not even sure if it's gonna be the same entertainment for both nights or each night will be different. I'm not sure, but if that, I'm sure they'll be giving us more information about that. So that $250 includes your entertainment. It also includes all of your training. Now training will take place on July 20th and the 21st. July 20th and 21st, those are going to be training days. They've done it tons of different ways. Some years it's all um, general session type training. There's some amazing speakers that we've had in the past. Um, we've had people like John Maxwell, Brene Brown, Sean Aker, tons of different big name speakers that have joined us. Um, some years it has been breakout sessions where it's the leaders within the company that are training you on things that you can walk away with and, and implement in your business right at that point. We're not sure what it's gonna look like this year, but I promise you no matter what the style of training or the setup of training, you will walk away with new ideas, new inspiration, and new things to do in your business. I know that people that attend Cincy Family Reunion or Cincy Convention are the top leaders within our company. If you're not a leader right now, I promise you when you attend convention, you will want to be a leader. So that $250 gets you the entertainment, it gets you all the training, but it gets you a product kit as well. And in the past, that product kit has been well over a value of $250. You're going to get testers of the new fragrances for fall and winter. You're going to get some of the products. We've gotten warmers in the past. We've gotten some of the new skin lines, some of the new groom line. So we always get things that we can instantly show our customers to get them excited about the new catalog. At convention is where we will hear about next year's incentive trip. So this year, we're going to Disney. Next year, who knows where it will be? And we find out about that usually at, at um, awards night at convention. So a couple other things I wanted to tell you about. There will be a 5K on Tuesday morning. Now I am not a runner at all, but last year I did the glow run and I actually just walked it, but I had a blast. It's so much fun just to get out with your Cincy sisters and brothers and just have a good time. Now they've told us a little bit about this year's 5K and it sounds like a blast. It will be Tuesday morning. It's gonna be like a rock and run type thing. 
There's going to be live bands set up all along the path of the 5K. So you could walk for a bit, run for a bit, and then kind of groove down with whatever band um, is at the next stop. So I'm super excited about that. Not a morning person, not a runner, but I'm still considering doing it just because it sounds like so much fun. Room blocks will open this Friday, April 1st. And I want to tell you uh, like how the room block works. So Cincy um, pre-reserves some room blocks within their name. So you will get a link from Cincy to go through to reserve those rooms. You do not have to make a deposit, but you do have to have a credit card to hold the room. If you've ever been to a Gaylord Resort, they are not cheap. Some of the rooms, I mean, a typical room usually runs about $300. Since he has gotten us an amazing price of $169 a night. That is unheard of for the Gaylord. Now, I know a lot of you are looking at budgets and you're wanting to do this as cheap as possible. And I totally, totally get that, that this is a huge expense to go to reunion, but I really want to encourage you to stay at the Gaylord. The Gaylord is the coolest hotel. It has like a full shopping center in the middle. There's tons of restaurants and you just cannot put a price on being in the hub of all the excitement and everything that's going on. You might save a little bit of money by staying off site, but then when you have to figure in the time and the gas to drive to the Gaylord, you're going to have parking at the Gaylord if you're just driving in for the day. There's tons of those other expenses that you would need to um, account for in saving money on a discount hotel. So if at all possible, stay at the Gaylord, $169 a night. If you divide that four ways, that's a bargain of a deal. Now, when should you plan to fly in or drive in. And this depends on whether you're a leader or um, a consultant within the company. Because if you're a leader, you're definitely going to want to be there early. And I'm going to kind of tell you guys about some of the perks of leadership with Cincy to encourage you to work your business even a little bit harder so that possibly you can get in on these perks if you're close to leadership this year um, or possibly next year for reunion. So as leaders, and leader is director and above. So directors and above, we actually get to register early. We get to register this Friday on April 1st. So um, just a little perk of being a leader. Also, if you are an incentive earner and you chose reunion as your incentive, you also get to register on the 1st, whether you're leadership or not. Another perk on the 18th, so on Monday night, they're throwing a party just for the leaders of Cincy, and it's going to be at the Wild Horse Saloon. I'm so excited about this because I will be spending a lot of time down on Music Row in the evenings and possibly extending a little bit before and a little after. I'm a huge music fan, and I'm thrilled to go to the Wild Horse Saloon. There's going to be a guest speaker there. They're going to do some line dancing, and again, just for the leaders of the company, so a perk to work your business a little bit harder. And then also on... Tuesday, if you are executive leadership, meaning star director or superstar director, they're actually taking all of us to Vanderbilt University, which is one of the top universities, business schools in the world, really. And they've got a full day of training for just us star directors and superstar directors. So I'm super, super excited about that. Then again, the concerts, you'll get to choose Tuesday night or Wednesday night. Training will happen all day Thursday and all day Friday. And then Friday evening will be awards night. Um, whether you're getting an award or not, you want to go to this night. It's not just about awarding those that have earned it. It's a super fun night. Typically, there's been some great entertainment. This is where they will announce the incentive trip and where they will announce convention will be next year in 2017. So even if you're not earning an award, I encourage you to plan to attend the awards night. So the actual reunion is the 20th and 21st, which is Wednesday and Thursday. But I encourage you to get there a day early. If you want to do the 5K, that's Tuesday morning. So I would encourage you to get there Monday night. And I would encourage you to not plan to leave until Saturday. If you plan to leave Friday night, 
it's going to be a crazy, crazy long night and you might miss out on some stuff. Another thing about Cincy Reunion is it's not just about the sessions. It's not just about the concerts. It's not just about all the parties, Cincy parties. It's about our parties. It's about meeting your fellow consultants on your team. It's about just spending time learning from others that are successful in this business. So that's another reason that I encourage you to go early and stay a little bit late. You will be surrounded by Cincy sisters and brothers. You will be surrounded by the leaders in the company and you have the chance to interact with all of these people and learn from what has made them successful. Learn what they're doing to be where they are in this business. So. I hope every single one of you is planning on attending Cincy, Cincy Family Reunion, and I hope to see you there.